Welcome to all of you. And in this lecture, we will describe the lithium aluminum hydride. It is, it is a very important result in organic synthetic. Eh? And uh, for the purpose of CSI and NET, uh, from this part, questions, various types of questions have been asked either there. It is two numbered or four numbered. Okay. So today we are going to discuss a lithium aluminum hydride in detail. So it is a very strong reducing agent. Okay. It is a very strong reducing agent stored under anhydrous condition, means they adsorb the water. Okay. So you uh, you stored under anhydrous condition in the presence of moisture, uh, it becomes inactive. Okay. So that's why it is put in the anhydrous condition. So always dry solvent used for during the synthesis. Okay. If you are using the lithium aluminum hydride. Okay. So your solvent should be dry. Okay. Normally protic polar solvent. Uh, are used in lithium aluminum hydride, ALS bond is highly polar. So, so hydrogen will be released from this part. Okay, means reduction carried out after breaking the AL, money, AL hydrogen bonds. Okay, so lithium aluminum hydride is very reactive reagent. It is, con it is contractor of alcohol. Okay, so next we will talk about the chemoselectivity of lithium aluminum hydride. Okay, Chemo chemoselectivity means it only uh, changes some functional group okay so you can see here sodium borohydride if you compare from sodium borohydride the sodium borohydride what happened here ketone will be reduced by sodium borohydride so it is reduced uh, means selective uh, region for carbonyl functional group oh, okay while other functional group will be not affected by this region but when you will add lithium aluminum hydride it will reduce both as carbonyl as well as ester bond okay ester functional group okay so it is selective it is selective but it is not selective it it reduces both okay so it is called chemoselectivity of lithium aluminum hydride it is it reduces functional specific functional like carbonyl cooot okay so functional group and as well as their uh, their respective products if you add lithium aluminum hydride so we will see here if you add a uh, lithium aluminum hydride in ester then it is converted to alcohol and rds alcohol two alcohol will be obtained one is primary and other can be other types acid is converted to rch2oh rco are is converted to rchoh okay rco nh are converted to rch2 nhr it is very important because co nh converted to ch2 nh means amide converted to amine similar process you can see here amide converted to rcho RCN converted to RCS2 NH2, RCS2 NO2 converted to RCS2 nitro converted to amine, nitrile converted to amine, but RCO NHR converted to this is the amide. But when you will add a S hydronium in the presence of hydronium, it is converted to RCHO. But when you will not add S2O, this the hydronium ion, then it is only converted to RCS2 NHR. Okay. So you, you can also convert it to RCHO via RCH to NHR when you will add hydronium ion in this, uh, in this product, okay. So nitrile converted to RCH to NH2, RCH to NO2 converted to RCH to uh, CH to NH2, PH, PH NO2 is converted to diazonium. It is very important, okay. Rx converted to RH, RNN3, RN3 converted to RNH2, epoxide converted to alcohol, okay and BH4. Next, we will explore the structure of sodium borohydride as well as lithium aluminum hydride. So when uh, after exploring this structure, you can see BH4, hydrogen, four hydrogen uh, attached via boron. Okay, and it is less polar as compared to, this is highly polar, highly polar. That's why it uh, ALS bond uh, breaks very easily as compared to sodium borohydride. <coughs> Sorry for that. Next one, we will discuss the reduction of carbonyl compounds. Okay, so if you want to uh, reduce, the, reduce the carbonyl compound in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride, then K1, if you see here K1 means first kinetic, this step, the reaction rate is very high. You can say ALS3 will adding with carbonyl. This is the electrophilic center, okay. So after adding uh, ALS3, this, uh, this will attack on the electrophilic side. Oxygen on the oxygen atom, this charge will be shifted. 
So that's why it is converted to OLS3 minus. After three step, consecutive step, it is converted to uh, OH. Okay. In this, your solvent should be either C2S5OH or methanol, but your solvent should be very dry. Okay. So intermediate formation is four, means tetra. Okay, because four hydrogen is present. Okay, so that's why after baking AL minus after addition of water, it is converted to OH. Okay. Next one we'll talk about the rate uh, rate constant order. So K1 is much faster as compared to K2, K3, and K4. K4 usually will be the less while K1 will be the more, more forwarded, you can say. Reduction. Next, we'll talk about the reduction of substituted amino by lithium aluminum hydride. So RC, this is the CO. In the presence of lithium aluminum hydride, it's converted to ALS3 minus. And this is the lone pair of electron containing nitrogen and the electron shifted on this. That's why it will be removed out forming the N cation, aminium type, okay. Addition of water converted to, when you will add water, this, uh, this bar N Me2 will be released out as a living group, you can say and formation of your aldehyde takes place okay so in this aldehyde formation takes place next one you can see if when you will add in a four member ring means internal you can say cyclic amide and if you add lithium aluminium hydride then what takes place first of all these converted to m a and ch2 okay two bond will uh, oxygen will be here removed and two hydrogen will be uh, addition of two hydrogen takes place in this after addition of brcn it is converted to this bond will be shifted on this uh, that's why first of all what takes place you should be bromine will attack on this this electron density shifted on the nitrogen minus and nitrogen minus will attack on the cn so your product will be this one okay Next one, we'll talk about lithium aluminum hydride does not reduce CC double bond or CC triple bond. It is very important point. And if you want to convert any CO in which double bond is present, okay, then you can use lithium aluminum hydride because it does not affect the double and triple bonds. You can see this one, CH3, CH double bond, CH and CHO. In the presence of lithium aluminum hydride is converted to CH3, CH double bond, it will not affect it while this will reduce out. Okay, means it is converted to CS2. CS3, CS double bond, CS single bond, COHOR, it is converted to OH. Okay, and double bond will be unaffected. Triple bond will be unaffected. But lithium aluminum hydride reduces carbon carbon bond in following cases. When it is attached from the benzene, then what happened here? Lithium aluminum hydride reduces both double bond as well as your CHO. So it is very important and in CSIR net, it has been asked. IIT JM in this type of question have been asked. So this is the ex uh, exception. So this type of question uh, have been arisen in various competitive exams. But at low temperature, no reduction of carbon-carbon bonds. In this, if you, uh, if you give the high temperature, then it is converted to this one. But at low temperature, it is not converted to particular, it is only converted to, uh, means CHO will be converted to CH2 at, at low temperature. If you go uh, employ at high temperature, then it will be also reduced out. So next, you can say, this one, you can say, if you mechanism, uh, you can see mechanism lithium aluminum hydride, so ALS4, two hydrogen will be uh, attached by this one, means CH2O. This is the aromatic ring I have mentioned this way, CH2O in this way, two hydrogen, okay. This hydrogen will attack on this and this hydrogen will attack on this, okay. So that's why your product will be this one. This will be unaffected while this minus this CH minus abstract D. So that's why addition of D takes place in this, okay. Next one, if you see PS, CH double bond, CS, CH2, CHO then it is unaffected by this become changed, okay? If double bond is not conjugated with carbonyl, then, sorry for that. If you see this one, in, in this triple bond will, will be reduced out because aromatic ring is present, okay? 
so this is the ex exception in which aromatic ring is present okay if aliphatic ring will be present then it will not affected while this will come change to ch2oh so at low temperature no, no reduction or double or triple bond so for converting triple to double then you employ the high temperature so in the case of propylic alcohol las reduces carbon core triple bond into trans alkene so trans alkene at in the presence of lithium aluminum iodide you can change the triple bond to double bond it is already reduced so there will be no uh, not effect not affected by this region this group your product will be trans lithium aluminum iodide reduces the double bond while other groups will be unaffected this will be also reduced out into double bond and forming the trans all the trans products okay similar process this one <clears throat> so so in this way i have discussed some uh, points regarding the lithium aluminum iodide so it is my first lecture second lecture in the second lecture i will completed all the parts of lithium aluminum hydrides okay so you can see this one and uh, please uh, write down in the uh, in the rough paper okay while you are uh, you are seeing this video okay because after write down reactions how much how much time you will write down depends your increasing the memory to learn these reagents okay so thank you for all see you